In this little video we will be showing a few simple weathering techniques on a bowl laser craft ammunition wagon. While this happens to be a sudden nape scale kit, these techniques will work just as well on our 16mm scale kits. The first step is to take our nice pristine plywood parts and attack them with a wire brush. This is the floor we are doing at the moment. Brush up and down with the grain, not across it. This is to give the stain we are about to apply something to key into. We suggest for your first project that you take this gently. Later once you've got the hang of the technique, by all means go to town. Add deep scratches and knot holes so that you can get a really interesting wood grain effect. Now with a soft brush apply our weathering stain. It is wise to have the window wide open when you do this bit. Don't panic if it looks very dark at first, but it will dry quickly. In fact, I'm applying a second coat to the door as the first was a little too light. Now we're going to make all the ironwork a little rusty. All our kit's nylon details come pre dyed in a charcoal black finish, however for this model I want to have a slightly rusted and dirty look. I am using life coloured dark rust and light rust acrylic paints. In the third palette dimple I've put a few drops of surgical spirit which I'll use to thin the paint as I go. The surface of the nylon is slightly porous so the paint adheres well without the need for any primer layers. I first paint the hinges with the light rust paint thinning the paint as I, go, as I go by dipping the brush into the spirit. I next paint the tips of the bolt heads that will poke through the plywood doors. The general idea is to add, a li add the light rust colour to any points which receive frequent wear so the rust will be quite fresh. Now I am applying the dark rust to all other parts, again dipping the brush into the spirit as I go, so that the two paint colours blend together where they touch. I'd easy to find, I find it easy to paint these parts before I cut them from their spruce. Now I'm painting the axle boxes, mainly with the dark paint but with a little dab of light rust here and there to vary the tone a little. I'm painting the rubbing surfaces of the dumb buffer plates with humbral metal coat paint, the uh, gunmetal colour to be specific. Once this paint is thoroughly dry and the plates have been glued to the chassis, I like to burnish the buffer plates with a tissue. This imparts a very pl pleasant metallic sheen to the buffers. When the door detail parts are removed from the sprues, little white patches of white nylon are left. These can be coloured in with little dabs of the dark rust paint to hide them. For this last technique I used some Arsis pastels ground into a powder using this rather fearsome item one of my daughters left in the bathroom. The powders are simply brushed onto various parts of the wagon like the wheels where dirt is likely to accumulate. A touch of the dark rust paint on a couple of the screw heads that I missed before. Once happy with the result, a couple of light coats of humbral matte acrylic varnish from a rattle can is applied. This seals the powders onto the wagons so that they won't wash off in the rain. <laughs> 